On Blackbeard's Ranch, Brian Jones and his cowboy crew are working to beat the heat of the day by moving cows and calves just after sunrise. The 4,500-acre ranch was purchased by Galinsky Enterprises in 2014 and is managed by Florida cattleman Jim Strickland. My family has been in Florida for six generations. We've always been in the cattle business. The cattle here on the ranch consist of cattle that we have kept for generations, that we've adapted to this environment for generations. And the cattle herds, we have a Brangus cattle herd, we have a Beefmaster cattle herd, and then we have a crossbred cattle herd that are mixtures of Brangus, Beefmaster, and Brayford. Today in Southwest Florida, houses are going in where cows were once grazing. That makes Blackbeard's Ranch highly valuable as open space. We are right outside of the second fastest growing residential, planned residential development in the United States. So we have a unique opportunity to tell people about ranch lands, about water, about what the, us ranchers do for Florida. We're under a lot of pressure around the state for people to develop and Jim just caught on fire, if you will, in the last five to six years promoting conservation and actually has formed a group of ranchers uh, called the Florida Conservation Group and they're all like-minded ranchers who are very interested in preserving as much country as possible but keeping it in private hands. The wetlands of Blackbeard's Ranch play a critical role in protecting water quality downstream. That's one reason why Jim worked with NRCS to put one third of the ranch into a permanent conservation easement. That's 1,500 acres where Blackbeard sold the development rights. So that area can never be developed. It can't be converted into something more intensive and that those wetlands will be restored and that native hydrological regime will be restored. All we're doing is giving up the right to build a house. We're still grazing cattle on it. It's going to be a little wetter than it was, but it fit for us. That easement program fit for us. Over the past four years, the ranch team has worked to thin dense trees and remove invasive plants using herbicide treatments and prescribed burns to help restore native habitat. So our burning plan is we burn 50, 60, 100 acres at a time in a mosaic situation. We're trying to help the cattle, we're trying to help the land, but we're also trying to help our wildlife. So our burns are gonna look a little different than others, but it's so important to the cattlemen of Florida to have that ability to burn our ranch lands. So I think what he has done has been a tremendous service to conservation. You know, if we want to protect, you know, Florida's water and wildlife, we have to have a profitable cattle industry here because that's where, that's where the wildlife are. To implement a rotational grazing plan, new fencing has been added and the ranch team has installed water troughs driven by wind and solar power. There's been time that on this ranch alone, we have 31 ponds, all but two were dry. We now have five windmills and we've put in our first solar wells. So we are continuing to do cost shares to one, give those cattle some clean, good water, and we can start moving those cattle around that I don't have to depend on every single pond. Jim has also diversified, producing a variety of food products, including Blackbeard's Ranch beef, honey, and pork from Mangalitsa hogs raised on ranch pastures. It's all aimed at maximizing income opportunities and getting the story of agriculture and conservation to the public. And one of the ways to get our word out initially was food. So if you see a Blackbeard product out there, that person or company is wholeheartedly agreeing to tell the story of ranchers in Florida, not just us, but ranchers across Florida doing the same thing we're doing. Perhaps most impressive is the effort Jim and his team put into setting up the ranch as a place to regularly host visitors of all ages. He will defend our industry. He will stand up for it, but he swung the gates open and is passionate about sharing the conservation methods of a Florida ranch with the public. We host uh, three to five busloads of people at a time that come out here and I get the opportunity to tell them what a landscape level conservation on, on a Florida ranch 
looks like, feels like, and, and what it accomplishes. We really want to tell the story here and show that cattle ranching is critical if we want to protect our native wildlife populations, if we want to protect clean water downstream, because the alternative is development. Today, Blackbeard's Ranch is a place where cattle are thriving. The land is improving and critical wildlife habitat is being protected. Jim came up with the name Blackbeard's Ranch in recognition of the pirate history in this area of Florida. But his vision for this land goes far beyond what any pirate could dream. A lot of people say, well, Jim, are you looking for the silver and the, the balloons and the jewels and the sapphires and the rubies that uh, Blackbeard or one of those pirates buried? I said, I would love to find it. But the real treasure is the land itself. So we're looking forward to the future here. There's a lot of variables out there. Are we still improving? Every day. <laughs>